some traders. I'm watching DAX right now. Um, on this account, I got some, and this is one account where I'm I'm really using high risk. I was putting in like 10 grand, and I tried to. It, this is just for the for the crash of the DAX, a, a special account where I'm just uh, where I'm just playing around, you know. Um, my goal is to flip this account to 30 or 40,000 with this one trade in the DAX. But right now DAX is playing on me. So what I do is fairly easy, guys. Whenever I get a chance to buy, I'm a scalp. I'm a scalp it, you know. I'm a buy this bitch. <laughs> just to make sure that i'm not getting broke before the market starts moving downwards again this is this is what i do so what i do right now is i'm just watching the chart on the low time frame i'm waiting for 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 opportunities to buy you know and as you can see what i think what the market will do is it will be it will come up to this point again smash some stops maybe it will be it will, maybe it will move around in this area before it drops again and i want to bank some profits on the way up if it's crashing like i don't need i don't really need to uh to do anything so i'm just waiting i'm just waiting for for lower lows on this one because my my target is somewhere around in this area here I want to I want to I want to I want to write this thing down to somewhere around in this area like uh, 10,500 to 10,000 somewhere in this area. This is where I want to get out, you know? This is where I want to get out. And right now I'm just I'm just hedging my my open position because it's uh, it's um um because right now it's um it's in a negative balance, you know? And yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to hedge it. Whenever I see it's moving up, whenever I see it's moving up, if I get a clear candlestick um, signal that it's moving up, I get in with a stop loss, of course, because I still think we are in a financial crisis. The economy will crash because the all the people they are nervous, nervous and shit. They they are scared. I mean, so many things shutting down the economy so so many things come from from china so many uh, so many products and things uh, big companies need come from china so yeah i think uh, <laughs> nobody is really interested in investing in the docs right now because of this this um, depression that we are in right now so yeah, I'm just hedging my position to the upside with stops, with stop losses, and playing the candlestick game. You know, this is what I do right now. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting, just waiting for this bitch to come down finally, and on the way up, I try to protect myself. You know, to make sure that I'm not, uh, I'm not getting closed out with. Um, with all my with all my profits, um, to make sure that I'm not crashing the whole account. I don't want to burn this account, and that's why I'm hedging it. You know, because right now I have 15 lot on sell, and when I play with 15 lot on buy, when I see buy opportunity with a stop loss, and I can make some money on the upside, you know. While I while I'm waiting for new lower lows, let's see how long this bitch will play with me. Um, but yeah, um, I'm patient, you know, I want to get in on 1.25, something around this area, <clears throat> I'm buying it, if it, if it smashes this candle, I'm buy it, I'm gonna buy it, let's see, just waiting for the engulfing, for the bullish engulfing candle, the end of the move and I will close this position around in this area if, if I'm buying it if I'm buying it over here I'm gonna set my stop my mental stop or my stop around in this area 
And I'm gonna try to ride this, ride it until uh, I'm a trailing stop. It, you know, if it moves, I'm gonna set my stops. I'm, I'm gonna trail my stops on the way, so to make sure I'm not giving back shit. You know, I don't wanna give back shit. I'm here to make some money, so yeah, this is what I do. So yeah, let's be patient. Let's wait. Let's see what happens, guys. <laughs> right now, it's nothing. Nothing special happens. I'm just waiting for the. Just waiting for the push to 1.125 to get in with a buy. I would set my stops around in this area, like I said, and just try to trail it to the upside, make some money on the upside, and save my save my um, save my account, you know, before it finally crashes. Yeah, this is what I do. Uh, to be honest, guys, I'm not in the best position with I'm not in the best position with these trades. So yeah. I made some uh, I made some uh, dumb mistakes. I was too quick on the entry. I was too quick on the entry. Traded without a stop loss. Um, so yeah, now I have to. Now I have to try to. Yeah, manage it some somehow. You know. <clears throat> now I have to manage it and see if I can uh, save my ass. <laughs> but if this bitch drop, man, it's payday. You know. And this is what we do. Make some money, get paid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ride these waves, guys. It's a fucking candlesticks game, man. It's so easy. To be honest, guys. It's so easy. But you have to stick to your rules, you know. You have to, there are so many ways to trade these markets, guys. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you, you gotta have a plan, man. If you don't have a plan, you, you will fucking burn your account you know <laughs> all right let's see what price will do let's see if we can make it to the 12 <clears throat> 12 125 and i'm buying <laughs> let's see it's fucking around <clears throat> let's see it's playing <laughs> All right, so we got we got we got some bullish pressure right now. Let's see if we can if we can um, smash the last candle. Get it ready for the buy, guys. Get it ready for the buy. I think now it's time. Patience is key, guys. Patience is key. You gotta know where you wanna get in, and then you have to execute when it's time, you know. 24, okay, now it's... Okay, this was close. What we got now? Okay, 24, 24. Okay. All right, let's get it. I'm in. Now let's see what happens, guys. If it's con if it continues to drop, if it continues to drop below this area, I'm gonna close this bitch. You know. Let's see. Maybe we can get it. We can get a nice move to the upside. There it goes. I don't want to get. I, I don't want to give give back shit. You know. Just chilling right now. Got my stop loss in mind. I don't want to show the broker my stop right now. I don't want to. Sh I, I don't want to show him where I want to get out, because if I got my stop right now, if I got, if I would plant my stop over there, maybe they try to, maybe they try to bust my stop. You know, that's why I have it in my mind. And if I need to close it, I'ma close it manually. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. Okay, now we got a nice fat push. That's great. So this would be a great great timing to move the stop to break even guys because we already got these pips <laughs> sweet yeah let's see what happens maybe we'll come back for the retest i know my risk my risk is around here so right now i'm just waiting for the candle to close let's see if we can close if it can close strong bullish 
it can close strong bullish i would move i would move my stop around in this area below this candle you know it's candlestick game guys <laughs> it's fucking easy <laughs> oh yeah let's see i know maybe this video can be kind of boring because we just you know forex is fucking boring guys it's boring it's a boring game but if you don't if you don't like to work if you hate your boss you better you should better have a trading plan guys <laughs> learn how to eat guys learn how to eat pips <laughs> yeah let's see let's see if we can make some money on this one or if we get stopped out let's see two more minutes until the candle is closing let's see what happens but right now this bitch is 300 in profit it's cool <coughs> maybe we can make a thousand on this one i know guys this <laughs> with a with a eleven thousand dollar account or ten thousand dollar account this is what I do here is fucking over leverage this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now let's see. I want to see it move strong to the upside. I want to have a strong bullish move. Strong bullish close would be great, guys. Around in this area from 144 to 155 somewhere around this area <clears throat> I would close I would close it if it drops below the one if it drops if it come back to 12100 I would close it let's see what happens let's see what happens <laughs> <coughs> Patience is key. <laughs> For all of you who don't know what hedging is, hedging is like if you have a sell position without a stop and you wanna Yeah, that's a good that's a strong bullish close. That's great guys, that's great. Um if you're if you're in a sell position without a stop loss and you you save your ass you don't want to you you don't want to close your position because you don't want to take the loss you know you don't want to close it so what it, what you do is to save your ass is trade in the to trade uh, trade in the other direction you know with with the same lot size to save your account because if it's if you, if your account balance goes negative when you're selling so market's pushing up and you buy to save your account it's like you don't even have margin you know like it's i have 15 lot on buy 15 lot on sell everything's cool i can't i cannot lose anything right now you know and that's nice now we just have to play the candlestick game in this case i'm just trying to make some money on the upside and wait for this drop because i think we are not we are not done yet with the drop guys i think we are not done yet so yeah i'm gonna try to eat some pips to the upside yeah this this is what i'm trying to do right now to be honest that's why i'm not that's why i'm not answering your chat guys because answering your chats, oh my god, it's draining so much energy. I feel like a babysitter sometimes. Um, yeah, but I'm, I try to focus, try to focus on my game right now, so I don't have time to answer. You know. Yeah, let's see what happens. Patience is key. Five minute chart. Let's see what we got on the other, on the other charts. One hour chart yeah i'm really i'm really trying to i'm really trying to bank some money on this upcoming stop hunt because banks banks trying bank banks banks stepping in and trying to avoid the crash the complete crash this is what happens right now in the market so everybody who's
think in that the economy crash get fucked by the banks who who buying this shit just to make sure that the that that uh, that this market is not completely crashing because i think <laughs> the majority of people they are they trying to sell they trying to sell it because they see they see the crash coming you know and yeah this is this is this is then that's why that's why i'm hedging that's why i'm hedging right now because i got tricked as well you know i i, I thought now it's coming down big time and then market just flipped around and moving to the upside and now i have to yeah play with it you know i think it will it will take it will take some more time <laughs> but it's fine um, what i'm doing right now taking small losses small wins and big wins to the upside <laughs> this is what i do right now and trying to trying to be patient and wait for the final drop i hope it will come because at the moment with the coronavirus and shit i i don't think i don't think that we that we 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 gonna have a big growth in the ducks and dough and all that shit okay this candle is fucked up this candle is fucked up guys it's fucked up I have my stop in mind, like one, one, two, one, oh, seven. <laughs> this is where I want to get out if it continues to drop. <laughs> oh, this candle is closing beerish. I don't like that. I don't like that. One two one oh eight is my stop, guys. This is where I'm getting out. I don't want to hold this bitch if it drops. I got enough. I got enough positions on set right now, so I won't hold it. All right, let's move the stop. Twelve one oh eight. Come on. Twelve one oh eight. Do we got a stop? Alright, cool. We got the stop, so it's fine. Let's see what happens. Maybe this was the retest guys, as you can see right here. We got this. This could be the retesting level where it breaks through. Now it's coming down for the retest. And now it would be great to see that price is shooting up from the price action perspective. But I don't want to see I don't want to see that the price moving down here. You know, if it moves here, it's not it's not for me. It's not longer a, a bullish structure. So yeah, I would take the small loss, and it would be fine for me. And then I would wait for the next buying opportunity to hedge or just let it run to the downside where where I got enough uh, positions, you know, and see if we can uh, see if we can write this thing down to the 10,500 level or whatever. Yeah, this would be great. I mean, this this guys please don't try this at home all right don't don't try to make like 15 a lot with a 10k account if you don't know what to do you know this is fucking stupid all right <laughs> let's see what happens patience guys patience forex is boring <laughs> price is playing around come on give me some moves to the upside man i want to bank some money Give me some money. I mean, if you see a bullish candle like the the candle before, this one, you you could probably close this bitch, you know. But I'm I'm seeing that this could be a potential retest area. That's why I'm waiting out, you know. That's why I'm waiting out. 
I want to see. I want to see it come, come back up for new highs. <clears throat> because yesterday we had a big, big stop hunt, guys. Let me show you the stop hunt from yesterday. This one. This candle here, guys. This candle. This candle. It was, it was a big stop hunt, guys. Market was coming down, and then boom, shoots up, boom, dropped, and then came down in my zone where I'm happy. But then it turned around again. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm playing around with this bitch before it drops, man. I, I think oh, the news, the news the next day they will they will affect the market in, in, in a good way if you sell in, because I think we're not done yet, guys. We are not done yet. If you if you watch the history and all the um, all the pullbacks in the history, guys, like this one came down big time you know from 13,500 down to 10,200 so right now why we <laughs> why this why this won't happen again I mean I think I think it could happen that it, it, it will continue to drop if the coronavirus takes over Germany and uh, all these countries around the world guys this bitch is about to drop heavy no and you won't get this you won't get this chance uh, many times so this is a, this is a really rare opportunity this is a very rare opportunity to make money in the markets because ooh, <laughs> the temperature is not good I mean, everybody is going crazy. Everybody's going crazy. Maybe I will fast forward this video a little bit because, yeah, it's uh, like 24 minutes right now. <laughs> mm. I would love to make some money while this video is running, guys. So, yeah, buy ducks. Come on. <laughs> Buy this bitch. <clears throat> oh, come on, move. This is what I want to see, guys. Push it, push it. Push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. Man, I want to hear some good music, man. Do we got some good music? <clears throat> or maybe we can we get we get trouble with um, with gamer. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Um, I don't know this song. After five, baby, I will try. <laughs> From 1987, guys, some funk. Let's see, I don't know this track, but let's discover it. Check what gold, what what gold does. Um, oh, nice! Gold is dropping. 
Maybe we can get a nice buy opportunity. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, guys. That's cool. That's cool. Or we can. Now let's see. We need to wait. See what the market does. If it. If it breaks this level, maybe it will break this level as well, or maybe it will make a stop hunt or something like that. So we have to really pay close attention to this area. Or if we can see like a nice bullish entry signal, we could, we could, we could easy buy this bitch because ooh, gold is, gold is a fat ass uptrend, guys. Gold is a fat ass uptrend. Let me show you. Uh, on the daily, yeah, gold is a fucking fat ass uptrend, guys. So we want to buy this bitch. <laughs> yeah, but right now I'm fully concentrated on Dax, on Dax. So just to have, just to keep it in mind. See what happens here. Maybe I'm switching back and forth, but right now, um, need to focus on. Ducks. Really need to focus on ducks. Playing the candlestick game, guys. This is what we do, guys. As traders, we playing the fucking candlestick game. Running these waves, man. Small losses, small wins, big wins, guys. That's the key. Fuck it. So easy. Fun. I'ma bring it back. I'ma bring it back, guys. Next, next song is Masterpiece. I can't wait. I can't wait for you. Yeah, of course, man. It's the best, the best of the best. I can't wait for ducks to come up, come down, come up, come down. I don't care, man. Go up or down, man. I make money in both directions, motherfucker. <laughs> go up, go down, whatever. I'm gonna make some money. Give me some bullish pressure right now. Bless this thing through the roof come on it would be great if I make like five or ten times my risk right now because my risk is low guys I'm risking maybe 300 or 400 bucks on this move it's nothing like I'm up like 400 maybe I'm risking 300 right now so what what would happen if I'm um, if I'm um, if I'm pushing it I mean this is one time, two time, three time. This would be four times my risk. That's sweet. <laughs> and let's see how far we can trail it. Maybe we can trade it much more to the upside. Maybe it will be a big move because I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like it could, it could bring another stop hunt in around this area. And if it does, I'm gonna trade it on the lower time frame. You know. I'm trying to trail it like if it moves here I'm a trail it I don't want to give back my profits you know just waiting for the move and then trail it trail it if it break the level I'm a trail it I'm a trail it I'm a trail it I can wait guys I can wait but I'm a trail it oh yeah now we got some new highs all right cool that's great now my risk is zero guys zero let's move the stop to break even fuck it I don't want to give back my money, you know. Now let's break even. Where it was like 120, 120 or something. 
Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Let's let's keep it like this. Let's wait for some candles to close and I'ma move it up, you know. Yeah, I'ma move my stuff. Let's see. We need some strong move and then we got this. This is this level, the 150 is this is the next support zone. So if it breaks clearly, it will maybe it will come back for reaches. So we have to place our stop in around in this area below this kennel, you know, um, to make sure we're not getting stopped out too early. Or we can make it like this here, 135 or 145. But we need a clear break to do this, guys. This is not a clear break. It's like four or five tips. We need it to go like to this area to have a clear break, new highs, and then, yeah, <laughs> and then we have something to play with. Let's see. on YouTube come on go away all right cool I don't know this track as well love club hot summer nights let's see what we got Summer night, it'll be just you and me. 
I don't like this break, man. The beat is great, but the rest is okay. Colors, am I gonna be the one? Let's see if that's a great track. 1983. I don't want to get, I don't want to get stopped out, but sometimes you have to take the loss. You have to take the loss sometimes. It's just like that. Fucking beer expression right now. I would love to bank some money on the upside before it's falling down again. <laughs> Listen, and listen good. I 
given you five years of my loving and not to mention my kissing. And I'm not about to let you go for no one, no way, no how. Now you know I'm the best for you and I can love you more. So tell me, baby, is it gonna be me? like beers beers uh, coming in which is great guys which is really great you could uh, get an understanding of what hedging is and how I'm trying to save my over leveraging position right now um, yeah whenever I get a buy signal I'm gonna buy it with the same lot size and uh, make small losses small wins big wins this is the key guys so I'm gonna make money on the way up save my account before economy is finally crashing and yeah, I would love to see it come down now, guys. This would be great because yeah, you're gonna make a lot of money on the on the on the on the downside. Even if my entries are not the best, I still think we have a lot of downside potential. And yeah, what I'm doing right now is just saving my ass to the upside, guys. That's all I do, and I hope this video was helpful for all of you guys. 
that so that you get an understanding of what hedging is and how you can really manage positions when you made made a mistake or something like this because many of you asked me oh man i'm i'm like 3k in negative and i don't know what to do please help me man what can i do how can i hedge this um but what you really need to need to know what you need really need to understand is how to make money on the smaller time frames like five minute chart like really sit in there wait and playing the candlestick game understanding how the candlesticks work and um, and then just taking small losses small wins and big wins on the way up um and yeah to save your ass you know to save your ass and to wait for market to come back to an area where you can close it with maybe a small with the small loss or a small win or a big win guys that's the key and this is what we do as traders all right all right i'm selling this, um, i'm buying this bitch again <coughs> my stop loss is around the 12 125 area Let's see if we can reach new highs now. Looks like we got some bu bullish pressure. Um, yeah. Let's see, guys. Patience is key. We're playing the candlestick game, guys. What these waves? <laughs> Oh, then I catch the good entry here. Now I'm trail this bitch. Let's see how far we can take it. I'm just waiting for the break. And then I will move my stop up to save some profits, you know. 1200 right now. Mm. Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> my break. Move or stop. Let's move the stop to one point. It's all right like this right now. Let's see if it can smash. If it can smash uh, our daily high, our recent high. This shit is boring. Today I closed some positions, I'm like minus, minus 90, but I got this thousand dollar running as a hedge, let's see what happens, I think we can, I think we can bust through the recent high, so let's be patient and wait, and then trail it, just trail it.
let's move the stop to 12 12 1 6 9 12 1 6 9 12 1 6 9 save another 20 pips can we get a break now oh sweet let's see let's see I, I give back shit, man. I'm gonna eat these peeps. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you.
trail it, trail it, trail it until it stop me out. Give me a big run, guys. Give me a big run. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Just waiting. I think now my stop. It's about to get smashed. We have some bearish pressure right now, but it's fine. My risk at the end. At the beginning was like 300 bucks, and now it's up 2,000. So we made a huge gain. Sweet, sweet. Right now I'm out. I'm out.